in my restaurant with my husband Ben. I take you on a journey of Oriental cookery, Nancy style. From the chili, smooth from the ginger, something for everybody, isn't it, Ben? Yes, Nancy. First, I'm going to cook you my smooth dish chicken with ginger sauce. This is 500 grams of chicken. I'm taking all the skin away, every piece of it. Now, cut this. Cut it across the grain and don't cut it too fine. About half an inch thick because you really want the chicken to taste with the ginger. And when it tastes with the ginger, you can buy chicken without skin in the supermarket or your lovely butcher will get you chicken without skin too. This is all done and I'm going to cut my ginger next. This is my fresh piece of ginger. I'm going to skin it and I'm going to cut it into fine matchstick. All I want is three inches. Ginger is come either from China or from Israel. You can't grow it in this country unless you have a very, very hot greenhouse. Maybe Kew Garden might have some. In ancient years and years ago, they used ginger as a medicine, as a tea, as a rub when you've got baby, when you have tummy ache, they put the ginger in the water and bath the baby and to get the wind, and they called it the wind out of the body. This ginger can buy in any supermarket. It's such a modern root now and there's such a lovely root to use. I'm going to get Ben wash this and I'll be back in a second. This ginger has been washed. You know why? Ginger is come from the root. So there's a lot of soy and sand. So it's very, very important to wash it. I got a very sharp knife and I'm going to cut my ginger into finer than matchsticks. to cook my smooth dish. You ready, Ben? Yes, sir. Good. Ladle? Oi! Whoop. Look, getting his hot. One and a half tablespoon of oil. Whisk is about. Get my ginger and chicken quick, okay? Yes, nice. Oh, lovely. It's Lovely, lovely, lovely. Quick ginger in. Chicken in. You see, this ginger is not hot. It got such a lovely taste and it's very mild in cooked ginger. I fry it till the chicken changes color. A few more minutes. So all together, this dish it's 15 minutes, that's it. I fry it this way so that the chicken can get sealed. So when you bite it, it's succulent. It got mm, and then you can get the bit of juice out. Like that. Can you see? All the chicken is sealed. And you see? All the redness have changed colour. 
Okay, can I have my oyster sauce? Yes, oyster sauce. Okay, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, plenty. My corn flour. Can you see? All this chicken is well sealed with the oyster sauce. And my corn flour has been stirred by Ben. And it's one and a half teaspoon of corn flour. And get my wine ready. You see? It's about four tablespoons of wine. It's wonderful. Oh, yes. Two more minutes, it should be ready. My mouth keep on moist. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I stood. I want to have this food quickly with my rice. <laughs> That's why you see, I dare not to eat now because I I just feel that oh, this is all nice for me. Yes, you see, yes. I'm going to put a bit of chicken stock in it to make it more moist and juicy. Just about half a cup of stock. Look at this piece of chicken. It's nice and cooked. You can see it's so lovely. Look at how beautiful it is. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Look, oh my goodness, it's sizzling. It's sizzling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. of the ginger and the wine and the fresh chicken and the coriander what a smooth dish with my hot and smooth dishes I'm going to make you this okra with dry prawns chilies and I'm going to be extravagant and put some fresh prawns for you too Okra. When I wash the okra, I cut the okra and there is a special juice in the okra and it gives it such a texture. I do not want to wash the juices away and let it go. I want to keep it. Ben has washed my okra. I'm going to top and tail it. And you cut it across. Okra, you can get it from any supermarket or an Asian grocery. It's beautiful when you can get nice young okra. So what you do, you go to the shop, you go break it. And once the end break easily, that's the young okra. You top and till it and I'll show you how sticky it is, okay? When you see it, can you see? It's sticky. Can you see it? There's a special glue on it. Can you see it? You want this glue inside it. This is a pound of okra here. It's so nice to have enough because it's such a crunchy dish. You can eat and eat and eat. I like it crunchy and hot and tasty with my chilies and my dry prawns. Ooh, delicious. Ben don't used to like okra till he met me and he loved this dish. When he eats it, he says, Amen. This means it's delicious. Crunchy. This is done now and I'm going to get my ingredient pound. 
I'm going to keep Ben very busy. He's going to soak these prawns for me. Wash it quickly and soak it. These prawns, you can get it from any Chinese supermarket. It's dry. It's very, very fresh still. <laughs> ben, have you soaked my prawns? Yes, Nancy, I have. Pass it to me. Thank you. My prawns is soaked, as Ben said, and is drained. I'm going to put them all in to the pounder and pound it first. Why we have to soak the prawns? Because the prawns has already been dehydrated. So you have to soak it to make it more soggy and it's easier to pound. You see? You'll be wondering, this mad woman is always pounding and pounding. It's better to show you the real techniques than to hide it under my body, isn't it? And just say, I'm not taking it out to show her. I'm not taking it out to show them. Show the world what we can do. That's it. Now, can I have my chilli and my garlic? Thank you. This is my whole chilli. I'm going to put it in. It's a relaxed hobby and you've got to cook for love when people eat it they make their food they make their food they make their food oh. now my garlic is palm I'm going to add my onions come on Ben quickly quickly yes you cut your onions even how big the onions is you don't need to add them all, okay? But I'm going to put all the onions in. It's the whole onions I got here. And it's delicious. It's nice to invest a pounder. It's fun. But make sure, if you live in a flat, make sure you put a cloth underneath the pounder or else downstairs be wondering what you're doing. Pounding, pounding, pounding. Go bong, 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 bong. Yeah, few more seconds, few more seconds and... Ladle, oil, and go! This dish might need a little bit more oil, like two tablespoons of oil. Can I have the pounder? Spoon. Reduce your heat, put your ingredients in. Can you see? The noise. And Cuban. You got to fry this too. It's nice and fragrant. For about five minutes. Ben, do you like this dish, don't you? Yes, I like it. It's nice and crispy. Nice it's and crispy. Like, yeah. Normally it's very uh, slimy. Soggy. And soggy. Ben loves his okra crispy. When he when he went home, when the soup is gone, they put a special uh, called bitter. Salt bitter. Salt bitter. It's called salt bitter and you put it in. Suddenly, it gets so slimy and they love that soup. And when you lift it up, you know, I tasted it. It's delicious, but uh, obviously Ben don't like it. Okay, can you see it's now lovely and brown now with low fire. Can you see the fire is very low? Now we can put the okra in. Yes. Put the okra in, then you can turn your heat high. Okay, put a bit of sugar in it. One teaspoon of sugar and just a little pinch of salt. Now you can put your prawns in. Yes, I give, I've been extravagant. Add some prawns for my guests. 
the prawns has been shelled and deveined. Can you see if when you fry, the color of the okra changes and the color of the prawn changes. Have you got a little bit of water for me, Ben? Grandma always says you do not pour the water on it when you cook this type dish. You should always sprinkle the water. Just sprinkle it to get the steam. Yes. Don't forget the heat comes from the chili and the heat comes from the heat and it all mixed together. So when you eat this dish, it's going to be so delicious. Just only a tablespoon of soya sauce, that's it. Soya sauce is to just give the binding of the taste. Look at that. Look at that. Delicious. Hot 